Fraktur German, Faktu, listen, is a calligraphic hand of the Latin alphabet and any of several blackletter typefaces derived from this hand. The blackletter lines are broken up, that is, their forms contain many angles when compared to the smooth curves of the Antiqua common typefaces modeled after antique Roman square capitals and Carolingian minuscule. From this, Fraktur is sometimes contrasted with the Latin alphabet in Northern European texts, which is sometimes called the German alphabet simply being a typeface of the Latin alphabet. Similarly, the term «fractur» or «gothic» is sometimes applied to all of the blackletter typefaces known in German as Gebrischen Schrift broken script. Here is the English alphabet in fractur. The word derives from Latin fractura, a break, built from fractus, passive participle of frangier, to break, the same root as the English word «fracture». Characteristics Besides the 26 letters of the ISO basic Latin alphabet, fractur includes the est set est -est", vowels with umlauts, and the long s. Some fractur typefaces also include a variant form of the letter R known as the R rotunda, and many a variety of ligatures which are left over from cursive handwriting and have rules for their use. Most older fracture typefaces make no distinction between the majuscules i and j, where the common shape is more suggestive of a j, even though the minuscules i and j are differentiated. One difference between the fracture and other blackletter scripts is that in the lower case o, the left part of the bow is broken, but the right part is not. In Danish texts composed in fraktur, the letter O was already preferred to the German and Swedish O in the 16th century. Origin The first fraktur typeface arose in the early 16th century, when Emperor Maximilian I commissioned the design of the triumphal arch woodcut by Albrecht Dürer and had a new typeface created specifically for this purpose, designed by Hieronymus Andrea. Fraktur types for printing were established by the Augsburg publisher Johann Schonsperger at the issuance of a series of Maximilian's works such as his prayer book, Gebetbuch, 1513, or the illustrated Thurdank poem. Fraktur quickly overtook the earlier Schwabacher and Textualis typefaces in popularity, and a wide variety of Fraktur fonts were carved and became common in the German speaking world and areas under German influence Scandinavia, the Baltic States, Central Europe. In the 18th century, the German Thurdank Fraktur was further developed by the Leipzig typographer Johann Gottlob Emanuel Breitkopf to create the typeset Breitkopf Fraktur. While over the succeeding centuries, most Central Europeans switched to Antiqua, German speakers remained a notable holdout. Use Typesetting in fracture was still very common in the early 20th century in all German-speaking countries and areas, as well as in Norway, Estonia, and Latvia, and was still used to a very small extent in Sweden, Finland and Denmark, while other countries typeset in Antiqua in the early 20th century. Some books at that time used related blackletter fonts such as Schwabacher, however, the predominant typeface was the normal fracture, which came in slight variations. From the late 18th century to the late 19th century, fracture was progressively replaced by Antiqua as a symbol of the classicist age and emerging cosmopolitanism in most of the countries in Europe that had previously used fracture. This move was hotly debated in Germany, where it was known as the Antiqua fracture dispute. The shift affected mostly scientific writing in Germany, whereas most belletristic literature and newspapers continued to be printed in broken fonts. The fracture typefaces remained in use in Nazi Germany, when they were initially represented as true German script. Official Nazi documents and letterheads employed the font, and the cover of Hitler's Mein Kampf used a hand drawn version of it. However, more modernized fonts of the Gebrischen grotesque type, such as Tannenberg, were in fact the most popular typefaces in Nazi Germany, especially for running text as opposed to decorative uses such as in titles. These fonts were designed in the early 20th century, mainly the 1930s, as grotesque versions of blackletter typefaces. The Nazis heavily used these fonts themselves, though the shift remained controversial and the press was at times scolded for its frequent use of 
Roman characters under Jewish influence, and German émigrés were urged to use only German script. On January 3, 1941, the Nazi Party ended this controversy in favor of the modern scripts including Antiqua. Martin Bormann issued a circular to all public offices which declared Fraktur and its corollary, the Sutherland-based handwriting to be Judenlettern Jewish letters and prohibited their further use. German historian Albert Kaper has speculated that the regime had realized that Fraktur would inhibit communication in the territories occupied during World War II. Topic: <laughs> Fraktur traditions after 1941. Even with the abolition of Fraktur, some publications include elements of it in headlines. Very occasionally, academic works still used Fraktur in the text itself. Notably, Joachim Jeremiah's work, Die Brief and Timotheus und Titus, The Letters of Timothy and Titus, was published in 1963 using Fraktur. More often, some ligatures ch, ck from Fraktur were used in Antiqua typed editions that continued mostly up to the offset type period. Fraktur saw a brief resurgence after the war, but quickly disappeared in a Germany keen on modernizing its appearance. Fraktur is today used mostly for decorative typesetting, for example, a number of traditional German newspapers such as the Frankfurter Allgemeine, as well as the Norwegian Aftenposten, still print their name in Fraktur on the masthead as indeed do some newspapers in other European countries and the US and it is also popular for pub signs and the like. In this modern decorative use, the traditional rules about the use of long s and short s and of ligatures are often disregarded. Individual fracture letters are sometimes used in mathematics, which often denotes associated or parallel concepts by the same letter in different fonts. For example, a Lie group is often denoted by G, while its associated Lie algebra is G G. A ring ideal might be denoted by a display style mathfrak a or p display style mathfrak p if a prime ideal while an element is a element of a display style a in mathfrak a the fracture c display style mathfrak c is also sometimes used to denote the cardinality of the continuum, that is, the cardinality of the real line. In model theory, a is used to denote an arbitrary model, with A as its universe. Fracture is also used in other ways at the discretion of the author. Fracture is still used among traditional Anabaptists to print German texts, while current is used as handwriting for German texts. Groups that use both form of traditional German script are the Amish, Old Order Mennonites, Hutterites and traditional German-speaking Mennonites from Russia who live today mostly in Latin America. <laughs> Fracture in Unicode In Unicode, Fracture is treated as a font of the Latin alphabet, and is not encoded separately. The additional ligatures that are required for fracture fonts will not be encoded in Unicode. Instead, Unicode proposes to deal with these ligatures using smart font technologies such as OpenType, AAT or Graphite. There are many fracture fonts that do not use smart font technologies, but use their own legacy encoding instead that is not compliant with Unicode. There are fracture symbols in the Unicode blocks of mathematical alphanumeric symbols, letter-like symbols, and Latin E. However, these are meant to be used only in mathematics. Therefore, letters such as long s, a, o, u, and which are not used in mathematics are excluded. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Typeface samples. In the figures below, the German sentence that appears after the names of the fonts Walbaumfraktur in Fig. 1 and Humboldtfraktur in Fig. 2 reads, "...Victor Jat Zwolf Boxkampfer Kur über den Silter Dyke." It means, "...Victor chases twelve boxers across the Sylt Dyke," and contains all 26 letters of the alphabet plus the umlauted glyphs used in German, making it an example of a pangram. See also <laughs> <laughs>